हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट इन फेरोसिन मॉलिक्यूल इट इज ए वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज वेल एज चैलेंजिंग जॉब फेरोसिन इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कंपाउंड it is an orange colored compound rg wilkinson was awarded nobel prize of chemistry in the year 1973 for the study of this compound that is ferrocin the electron count in ferrocin molecule is also very interesting there are two models for electron count in organo metallic compounds and coordination compounds and these are ionic model and covalent model both these models for electron count are quite easy and they give the same net result let us perform the task of electron count in ferrocin Having formula Fe eta five C five H five two times. First of all, let us consider covalent model. According to this model, ferrocin molecule contains two cyclopentadienyl rings, which are neutral. This is cyclopentadienyl ring, which has pentagonal planar shape. Each carbon atom contains one singly occupied 2p-z atomic orbital perpendicular to the plane of ring. There are five such 2p-z orbitals which take part in linear combination, forming delocalized pi electron cloud of cyclopentadienyl ring. This delocalized pi electron cloud contains five electrons in ferrocin molecule iron atom neutral iron atom is sandwiched between two cyclopentadienyl rings iron atom contains eight valence electrons 3d6 4s2 and each cyclopentadienyl ring contributes five electrons to the electron count of iron atom this cyclopentadienyl ring c5h5 ring contributes five electrons and this lower cyclopentadienyl ring also contributes five electrons to the electron count of iron having eight electrons in the valence cell and the overall electron count is 18 according to covalent model for electron count and let us now consider ionic model according to this model ferrocin molecule contains two c5h5 minus rings cyclopentadienide ring and in this cyclopentadienide ring one 2pz atomic orbital is fulfilled contains two electrons and it has minus charge and these five 2pz atomic orbitals which are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of ring take part in linear combination forming delocalized pi electron cloud having six electrons there are six electrons 1 2 3 4 2 6 6 in the case of cyclopentadienide ion the delocalized pi electron cloud contains six electrons and according to ionic model in ferrocin molecule fe2 plus ion is sandwiched between two cyclopentadienide ions fe2 plus ion now has only six valence electrons 3d6 c5h5 minus ion contributes six electrons 
to the electron count of iron while this C5H5 minus iron also contributes 6 electrons to the electron count of iron and therefore overall electron count of iron in ferrocene is 18. Thus we see that both covalent models and ionic model for electron count in organometallic compounds are quite easy and they give rise to the same overall electron count. Which model is more suitable for electron count in ferrocene? We have to answer this question. Which model? Whether ionic model or covalent model is more suitable, is more justified, is more appropriate for electron count in ferrocene. The C5H5 ring in ferrocene is aromatic in nature. As indicated by the electrophilic substitution reaction exhibited by it, it is a well proved fact that the C5H5 ring in ferrocene is aromatic in nature because it takes part in electrophilic substitution reactions and these reactions are characteristic features of aromatic compounds. When ferrocene is treated with acetic anhydride in phosphoric acid, this hydrogen atom is replaced by acetyl group. This is an electrophilic substitution reaction and this reaction is exhibited by C5H5 ring of ferrocene. It means this ring is aromatic in nature. Therefore, the ionic model is more suitable for electron count in ferrocene because according to it, because according to ionic model C5H5 minus ion contains aromatic sex state of electrons. This is why the ionic model for electron count in ferrocene is more appropriate than the covalent model. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe it. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my this type of interesting videos in future in time. Thank you again.